So you can see this thing is watering to the exact contour and shape of this yard right here. This brick is a odd shape as you can see right here and it is just adjusting as it goes along to shorten and then lengthen around all these curves. How, how cool is that? So sweet. Okay, so what we have here is the Irigreen Smart Sprinkler Controller, or Sprinkler Head. This thing is awesome. One of the coolest things that I have seen, um, and I think this is gonna be an absolute game changer for lawn care and people watering their lawns and taking care of their lawns. And so today, we are gonna show you exactly how to install it, how easy it is. I'm gonna show you how it works. We're gonna go through the ins and outs of it. Let's get after it. Step one in this entire process, just like when you're digging anything else, call 811, have them mark your utilities. It's the law. All right, so like I said, we're at Eric's house. He lives down the street from me, and Eric is actually the uh, director of sales for Irigreen. And so he knows all about these sprinkler heads, knows the ins and outs of them. So he's gonna show us exactly how they work right now. Okay, so the Irigreen uh, digital sprinkler head is um, obviously much larger than your traditional, this is an Orbit uh, Voyager 2. Uh, this is mechanical, this is digital. And that's actually probably one of the bigger yes. heads. Of, yes, one yeah. of the larger heads here. Uh, so the way this thing operates is it puts the same volume of water through the whole zone uh, as opposed to a mechanical system. So uh, the way that it does that is this can rotate in a full 360 and it also can speed up and slow down. So if it's covering a larger surface area, it needs to throw water farther, it's gonna slow down to make sure it gets enough water on that spot. And if it needs to um, spray something a little closer, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna speed up so it doesn't overwater that area versus the other area. The key being to make that make sense really is that the digital head, the way that it works is you can put points in your app you can put up to 50 digital points in for your lawn so all around the edges of your lawn wherever you're wanting to spray it will then spray to that exact point and no further um, so really what you want to do is put we're going to put this head right here where this where this flag is and it's going to be able to spray all the perimeter of this yard um, so you you put it in the middle where it's safe and sound uh, it's not going to get hit by a trimmer. It's not going to get hit by a lawnmower because it's going to be flush with the turf. You don't have the problem of chopping off one of these heads. 14 um, holes in this nozzle here, and they all spray different distances. So the top one sprays the farthest, um, and it sprays up in an arc and comes down in an arc. And so it's doesn't, it doesn't spray droplets. So the, the point of that is it's going to hammer that water into the turf so that you know that water is actually getting into the ground as opposed to the water droplets from a mechanical system that you just put more and more and more on there so it saturates the ground. Um, and then the lowest two are kind of like pinprick holes in here and they spray all around the head so you don't need head-to-head -head coverage with these heads because they can cover all around themselves as well. So that's another key aspect of this. So my lawn is almost 6,000 square feet. I need four sprinklers to cover what I'm trying to cover. I'm skipping one side yard over there, uh, but I need one for my front yard. Each head can cover about 2,000 square feet uh, if it has a direct line of sight. So if you have a tree in the way or a bush or something like that, it's not gonna spray through that. Obviously, you can't bend the water. Um, Come on, but, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can bend bullets, yeah, not water. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's how these things operate in a nutshell. Um, there There is software inside here, so they are programmed. Uh, it will remember your points uh, that you spray, and then it's also a plug and play system. So the valve is inside the head. That's how we can control how far or short we're throwing the water because that valve is gonna open and close as you go through the whole, uh, as it goes through this whole 360 spin through the digital um, points. It is a plug and play system. So you need one wire, you need one pipe, um, and again, the valve closes off so that pipe can stay charged. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it has two motors in here. One controls the speed at which it spins and one controls that ball valve in there. That's why it's, there's a bulky uh, system down here. And it just plugs it, uh, screws in, three quarter inch right there. Uh, recommend one inch piping as well. And we'll show you that when we tee off. 
So in terms of when you put this in the ground, it's still, this is all you're gonna see at the top of it. Correct. So you won't even notice this fat bottom here, which I mean, a lot of, a lot of people like to notice a fat bottom. Yep, but, a lot of fat bottoms. But in terms of being able to see it visually, all you're gonna see in the grass is this right here, just like a normal sprinkler head. That's right. Again, safe and sound right in the middle. You're not gonna hit it with a trimmer or a, uh, an edger or anything like that. Uh, unless you're crazy and you you want to damage it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these heads can throw, depending on your water pressure, if you have around 60 PSI, they're going to be able to throw 30 feet in any direction. I'm putting a pressure regulator on mine. I have 100 PSI at my house, which is not great for these heads. You want it at a max of 80. Um, so the pressure regulator goes to 75 PSI, so I know I'm going to get about 33 and some change uh, throw from that. So if I just measure to the from a flag in the ground, the farthest reach. This is 33 feet right here to the corner of this. So that flag is perfect for that. And I know I've already measured it out, but I know that's about 30 feet there. And then I got about 34 feet all the way to the, to the play set over there. So this head can cover this entire expanse here, all in this shape from 34 feet uh, all the way down to five feet in any any direction. So I know I can reach that place set all around the perimeter of my house and my fence. I don't need to spray these bushes uh, as well because it'd be too much water for them. So perfect spot right there, uh, right in the middle. So super cool concept. I have seen these things work and they work really well. And so I want to show you guys how uh, intuitive these things are and how awesome they are in terms of not spraying where you don't want it and the path of, of the water spray can shorten and lengthen around objects and all this stuff right here so with that let's get to installing this thing let's trench some stuff So we have our backflow preventer here. Most municipalities require a licensed professional to install this, so check your local codes. But we have this backflow, and that just goes right, and this is the start of our system. We have a valve right here that is a master valve. You do not have to put this in the system, um, but it's just so if uh, Eric wants to shut down the entire system, he can come and do it right here. And then just from that, we have our line going out, T to the front zone off and then we've got three zones in the backyard this way super simple one line the entire way one trench really easy to do So we want to show you how to install these heads and so we've got our run here and where this yellow flag is that's where we're going to mark a head so we've gone ahead and we've teed off on this and then we are just going to dig right here 16 inches down because that's how tall the sprinkler head is and that's how deep you need the hole to have it flush with the surface of the soil and so we're going to dig here and then we'll show you how to install this
straight down and up. Oh yeah. Maybe just a touch more. Just the tip. Just the tip. All right, so like I said, you want 16 inch deep hole. That is so the sprinkler with this line right here can fit down in there and it can either be flush or just below the surface. If you can have it a little bit above the surface if you're mowing tall, but if you're real mowing, I definitely recommend flush or just a little bit under the top of the soil level. Level. <laughs> yep, all that. If you want this box right here, that is where you're gonna put your excess wire in there. You want it deep, deep enough so that you can put dirt and grass up over it because you're just gonna cover that up. The only purpose of that is to be able to coil up the excess wire and then other than that it's just hooking it up to the pvc line so once we have everything done the pipe is all ran the heads are all dug out and placed before you actually put the head on the final pipe right here we're going to remove all of the caps that are on the ends here and we're going to flush the system because we do not want any junk that could possibly in the lines get inside the head because that could ruin the head so before we actually put this head on that pipe we're going to flush the lines i like you all right guys be quiet they're about to film in three two one mark these all come with caps on them so it tells you right here this end towards the controller and so this is the controller cable coming out of the wall over there this is a t ish called a y maybe uh it's gonna go because we teed off here um one one red is gonna go in here and another red for the next head is gonna go on into this one they all come with these caps on them and it truly is just a plug and play system to power all these heads so male female fitting goes straight together this is a watertight fitting it comes with a clamp. You just clamp those together and it squeezes it all together. Good to go. Run 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 it all down the line. Just drop it in the same line as the as the pipe. It's all watertight. It's all ready to be underground. So this head has this wire already connected to it and then you you take the wire that comes with the system. Mm -hmm. Plug it in there. The excess goes in this box in here, and that's what the purpose of the box is. And then we just run the wire along the trench here to the next zone. Before we backfill all of these trenches right here, go ahead, turn the system on, check for leaks. So you wanna check all the way down the pipes, your fittings, make sure no water is coming out. And once you do that, you're good to go ahead and start backfilling all this dirt back in there. So we have an odd shape here. It's longer in some spots, shorter in some spots. And as you see here, this thing is adjusting to go around this object here, and then it lengthens back up when it gets to this wall. But it is not spraying on the wall. It is literally adjusting to spray longer in some spots. Yeah, that thing is so cool, look at that. And then when we get over here, there's what, five feet in between there? Something like that? Six. Six feet right here, and it is just, it's shortening as it spins around there so that it does not go on the other side of the property line. How awesome is that? Now that is domination.
So one concern I've heard from people is that with one head per zone, it's gonna take too long to put a half an inch down or you're just not gonna get a proper half inch across here. So Eric is gonna address that for us. Yeah, so this head is designed to, per um, rotation, it's gonna put down 0 0.055 inches of water per rotation. And so, as you can see, it goes pretty slow. The demos that we were showing before was on uh, just, play. I just hit play for the design and it runs faster to show you kind of where your points are gonna be. This is gonna take probably three to four, maybe five minutes, depending on how big your yard is and how long it takes to spin around. Um, so with that, you can put the exact amount of inches per rotation that you want. So it's 0 0.055 inches and you just tell it, I want, a, I want three quarters of an inch, it's gonna put three quarters of an inch and spin around. It's gonna know exactly how, how much water to put down. Versus a traditional system that has all that overlapping, it's not the same volume of water throughout your whole system. So you may get a half inch in the middle, but you may get 0.2 inches on the, on the edge. So that's the big difference between a digital system and a mechanical system. So this is putting down the same volume of water every rotation. It has a flow meter inside it. It knows exactly how many gallons have come through it. That's the biggest difference. So you can see this thing is watering to the exact contour and shape of this yard right here. This brick is a odd shape as you can see right here. And it is just adjusting as it goes along to shorten and then lengthen around all these curves. How, how cool is that? All right, so that is the Ear Green digital sprinkler system. How you install it, uh, super easy, takes way less time than it does to take, uh, put in a traditional system like I put in at my house. So cool, I think this right here is the future of watering. So uh, less water is wasted, less water is used to get the same effect on your lawn. If you wanna learn more, I will leave links and stuff all in the description down below. So uh, get out there, lay some pipe, and we'll see you next time. So it is just going right on this property line here, getting no water over here. So suck it neighbors.